I'm going to be doing something new, something a bit different. I was doing personal finance videos before a few months ago and then just kind of petered out. I was really busy at work. Unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like channels which cover multiple topics and I simply don't have enough time to create two YouTube channels and run them simultaneously. Honestly speaking, you could probably summarize all of personal finance videos into number one, keep six months worth of cash and expenses in your bank account just in case something goes wrong and all always maintain that cash amount. Number two, spend less than you earn and invest the different. How do you invest? You invest in cheap things like index funds, which also help you to diversify your investments. Yes, you can invest in things like real estate, but it's a bit more troublesome to buy a place, pay all the huge amounts of taxes, take care of tenants, that sort of thing. So really, in my view, that summarizes everything that you really need to know about uh, personal finance in general. Yes, there's loads to investing. Yes, there's loads to the specifics of how you go into each of these different things. You know, just consistently invest in the stock market long term and don't spend all your cash on frivolous things that people don't really care about. I might not shut myself off from that avenue. I might talk about that in the future, who knows. But in the meantime, I do want to do something new. It's something that I've always wanted to do and it's in line with a number of things that I've tried out before that also required a huge uh, time commitment and those things were you know, writing stories, uh, doing theatre, doing film. You know, all these things have a common strain and what I want to do now is make games or specifically computer games. In order to make games, I'm gonna to have to learn quite a lot of things. I'm gonna to have to learn how to do proper storytelling, which I'm really into already. I'm gonna to have to learn how to animate properly, and I love drawing. I've always loved to put colors and spaces together, so that's something I'm also really looking forward to. And, and the final kind of major thing is something that I'm not used to at all, and that is programming. The engine that I want to use to create these games is called Unity. There are all sorts of other engines out there, but Unity requires a language called C Sharp. And C Sharp is not uh, necessarily an easy language to learn. It's a challenge and something that I am looking forward to, to learning. In fact, I've got a book here, C Sharp Programming Yellow Book by Rob Miles. It's going to take some work. I don't know how long it's, it's going to take. It might take a few months, even maybe up to a year, just to learn the basics. It's something that I'm, I'm looking forward to because I would be able to actually make my own games. I did make some small games when I was a bit younger back in my high school and also uni days. I used this program called The Games Factory, which my friend Hans uh, gifted to me when we were, I don't know, what, 12, 13 or something. That program required uh, you to understand similar concepts to programming, but it didn't require any programming language. So I've never learned a programming language in my life. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm coming at this afresh. So if you wanna come along this journey to see all the kind of the mistakes I made, all the decisions I have to make, all the things that I have to learn, and perhaps from your perspective, be able to see how someone does this from scratch. You know, do you need a computer science degree to be able to, to make games? Do you need to go to a coding boot camp? How much time do you need to spend? Some of you may know that my main career is as a lawyer and I've trained as a lawyer, I've worked as a lawyer for almost 10 years now. So coming to programming in my early mid thirties is quite a, perhaps a strange thing to do, but also quite exciting as well, because hopefully by learning this language, it will allow me to create things. And that's what I've always wanted to do. I will leave you with the very first thing that I've ever written in a program, which is something that everyone has to do, and that is Hello World. So, Hello World. So you can see all I'm really doing here is printing something out using the computer's console program. And so I'm writing to the console, write line, and within the quotation marks, I write Hello World course finish with a semicolon as is required by the C sharp language and in order for the program not to close immediately on me I type console.read and lo 
let's see if this works. <laughs> 